solar energy is the most abundant source of renewable energy. Every hour, the amount of sun's energy that falls to the planet is equal to the amount of energy used by the entire human population in a year. Photovoltaic devices convert solar energy into useful electrical energy for several different applications, such as home heating systems, electric cars, and also solar compactors. The most used photovoltaic devices are based on silicon technology reaching around 20% efficiency. However, the energy obtained with these devices is yet 10 times more expensive than the conventional utility grid. Organic photovoltaics are seen as a promising alternative to reduce the cost and open up a new set of applications due to their unique properties such as flexibility and transparency. Hello, my name is Amaury Souza. I'm a PhD student at the School of Physics in Trinity College, Dublin, working in Professor Stefano Sanvito's group in collaboration with the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. In my research, I use computer simulations in order to understand the working mechanisms of organic photovoltaic devices at the microscopic scale. In science, there are many problems that are not easily solvable by standard pen and paper mathematics because they contain far too many unknowns and variables. In these cases, we need to make use of computational uh, methodologies. In addition, such methodologies uh, can help us predict uh, new properties of materials and indirectly assist us in designing new materials and devices. The organic solar cell is built by packing two types of organic molecules, donor and acceptor, between two electrodes, a semiconductor electrode and a metallic electrode. In terms of energy diagram, the semiconductor electrode can be represented by its valence band and conduction band, whereas the metallic electrode is represented by its FEM energy. The donor and acceptor molecules are represented by their highest occupied molecular orbital, HOMO, and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. When the light hits the system, an electron on the home of the donor absorbs energy and jumps to the loom of the acceptor, creating a pair electron hole known as exciton. The electron and the positive charge left behind are injected into the electrodes, generating electrical current. By means of the state-of-the-art theoretical and computational methodologies, we can achieve a better understanding of photovoltaic devices, which are a cleaner and sustainable alternative for the global energy scenario.